G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for Hand of the Week. Now, this hand came from a steak night competition and it's a hand about like sort of changing your plan. You might come up with one rough idea, but uh, then you have to change. And also about catering for different options. So let's just jump straight in and see what we can do. So we pick up this monster and we've got 22 highs and a 5-5. Five five. Now, I don't really like opening two suited hands two clubs. And I think opening one heart on this hand would be okay, but usually when my plan isn't about which game I should play, but I just really want to play Slam, then I'll open two clubs. And basically I don't, I need very little from partner to actually make Slam, so I decided I'm, I was just going to go for it. Take a bit of a risk and hope that my partner's either got the Ace of Spades, the King of Clubs, the Queen of Clubs, the Queen Jack of Clubs, or something in that vein. Um, King, Queen of Spades might be good enough. There's like a lot of really weak hands where there's a decent amount of play on this hand. So I decided to open two clubs and it went two diamonds from partner waiting and two spades on my right. And now I just bid three hearts. And I got a raise to four hearts and insisted on six hearts. Not the most scientific bidding, but uh, it was okay. And we get the six of spades lead. So here we've got two club losers and we've got two diamond losers. I need to deal with them. Uh, I might not need to rough any diamonds. I might need to rough one. I might need to rough two of them. So I don't know how many times I need to trump, but somewhere between zero and two. I've got two club losers and I've got the jack ten of clubs, which gives me some options. I've also got the king jack of spades, but they're most likely useless after the uh, two spade bid there. Uh, Anyway, I looked at various options and it seemed like most of the ways to make this need trumps breaking 2-2. Two, two. Uh, so I decided that I would just see if that happened uh, by trumping the first one and then just cashing the Ace King of Hearts. So Hearts uh, divided. They didn't actually throw the 10, I just misclicked there, but uh, they divided 2-2. Two, two. And uh, this was, at this point, I thought, oh, if diamonds break 4-3, then I'll be able to throw two, well, I'll be able to throw three clubs away uh, if they break 4-3, but uh, I only need to throw two rounds of clubs away, and then I'll be able to trump one club and trump one diamond, and I'll be all good. So I can start with the ace of diamonds, and then the king of diamonds, and I... Didn't throw a spade, I threw a club. And East discarded a spade here. So at this stage, I can't use that plan of just trumping one diamond and one club. I actually have to set up the clubs for a trick. Because I need to trump both of my diamonds, and I'll have no more trumps left to actually deal with that. Um, even if that wasn't the case, even if I saw East show out, I should trump one low diamond now uh, to see if diamonds broke 5-2 or not, because then even if tr diamonds broke 5-2, I'd need to revert to the plan of uh, trumping two diamonds and setting up the clubs. But here it made it nice and easy, but uh, even if East followed, cashing the queen of diamonds would be wrong. But here now I know that's, that's bad at this stage. So now I need to pick up the club suit, and I've got sort of two Two main different options. Both involve leading a low club. So I can play East for King Queen of Clubs and have it go low club, small, Jack, uh, and the Queen or King all appear. And they only have spades and clubs left, and I can play them for the Ace of Spades and King Queen of Clubs. The other alternative I could play them for is West having Doubleton Honor in Clubs. So if West has Doubleton Honor in Clubs, if they hop up with an honor here, I can then just finesse. And if they play low, I put in the 10, they win, club return, and I can put up the ace. And it will drop the honor and will be all good again. As it was, uh, my life was made easy. They hopped in with the queen and I got to uh, finesse the club on the way back to make my 12 tricks. And if we open up all the cards, um, it was there to be made. So uh, West had Dalton Queen of Clubs. But here is where I think it gets interesting. If you're on the ball as West, I think you should duck smoothly. Against the slam, you can see you've got no spade winners, no diamond winners. So you need two club winners. 
Now, if you hop up with the queen, the only time you'll get two club winners is if your partner has the ace. And if your partner has the ace of clubs, why didn't declare a rougher diamond and lead the jack of clubs or some line of play like that? So when they lead a small club towards the jack 10, it's very indicative that they've got the ace of clubs, in which case your only hope is putting them to the, the guess and playing low. So if you play low and it goes small and your partner puts in the king, they just have to return a club. And now declare has to guess what the actual layout is here. And it's not easy for them to do. Um, and I probably would have gone wrong. I would have played ace for the king, queen of clubs. Solely for the fact it's very natural for West to hop in with the queen of clubs. So when they don't do that, I'm not going to play them to actually have it. Whereas ace pretty much has to win a club on it and return a club no matter what. So here, I would have gone wrong if West uh, ducked the club. But it's because I would have thought that they have a choice of do they want to hop up with that honor. And if they don't, uh, then then when they if they don't, then I'll play them not to have actually had that option. Uh, so here, I probably would have gone down on this line of play. But I thought this was a cool hand because um, it went from uh, needing hearts 2-2 two, two, to then realizing I need diamonds breaking slightly as well. And... I wasn't put to the test because diamonds broke so badly that I realized that I didn't need to cash the queen of diamonds. But again, notice that um, on this line of play, I assume uh, is followed. If you then cash the queen of diamonds and find out uh, diamonds broke 5-2 instead, I still need to rough two of my diamonds. But now with jack-10 doubleton club, I don't have the club pips to actually pick up the clubs for no loser. So cashing the queen of diamonds would be a mistake here if diamonds were 5-2. So what you'd need to do if diamonds were 5-2 is trump a diamond. And um, at this stage you'd see east show or not show, and you'd know whether or not you had to pick up that diamond, uh, the club position or not, in which case you could rough a spade, lead a low club, and do the same thing. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this hand of the week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.